I had a phone call and a correspondence with someone called Francis Thompson, all the way from Australia, who started wanting to research and work with us to find out more about Vera Cox. Did we know who Vera Cox was? She starts filling us in about information and told us all about Great Comp. Again, I'd never heard of Great Comp until today I'd never visited and it is just such a beautiful place. Heron Maxwell uh, with her husband with owners here and their great friend Vera Cox, who stay, came to stay, were very um, influential in, in developing and modernising the game. So they changed the way teams are selected. They gave the opportunities for lots of uh, new players to come into the game. There were tournaments here and then they'd have all sorts of shows in the evening and all sorts of teams of girls came down. Lots of social works, they were on the WI, they ran the Women's Land Army in the Second World War, and it all happened here. The more we know about this period, I think the more we will understand how, where the origins are hockey. Um, and this was an era of, of uh, the suffragette movement, how brilliant these women were. I think it's not just a sport, I think it also links into society at the time, a movement that said women need to have exercise. And I think women like Heron Maxwell and Vera Cox were so influential that their stories have really not been told. A hidden history really of the development of women's hockey.